What's up guys, Paul Sam here. Finally back to do some surf fishing. The last time I did this, maybe in July, which is about three or four months ago. Just gonna give it a try. I have a couple different kind of baits. I have squid, shrimp and joshua. I do have a rod stand, but I found this PVC in my yard. I have some masking tape. I'm just gonna tape that onto the bucket like that. So as I complete that, I'll catch you guys back when we start to fish. There we go, finished product. DIY rod stand. Okay, so let's go through the setups quickly. I have my Shimano Nasty Reel, 25 pound braid, with a leader, 40 pound, casking, two small circle hooks, and a four ounce weight. That is my big fish rod. Then I have another rod here, which the wife will be using. Small banking setup, smaller hooks, a two ounce weight, and I'm gonna set up with shrimp on this. And then finally, I have a my regular graphite series rod with a micro spoon, which you're gonna throw around to see if you catch anything. The bait, I have some fresh Joshua and some small shrimp. I do have some squid as well. The Joshua and shrimp, I got that just off. Um, Uber Balmain main road as you come over you have to hold on say them there is a guy selling fish on the side of the road it's very fresh if you're ever looking for a bait you can check him he's there in the mornings uh, the squid well, I got the extra food's ground bazaar it's supposed to be used for a catch for a uh, cooking video but I just took a couple um, I think it's a secret bait that you can try out today so let's see how it goes I'll bait up big rod for the Joshua wife for the shrimp and I'll be throwing the small spoon for sure We have a rod set out. I think that it might be too low to catch fish right there. Yeah, that hold them up here. I was feeling this line here, the wife said she was getting some bites. They're kinda hard, the tide kinda low and the water kinda rough. Yeah, definitely getting some small bites, a lot of small bites actually, but very small, I might have to change the size of these hooks. Big road girl kind of bite this one. Getting some bites. Mm -hmm. We're in this 
Yeah. Hold this for a second. Huh? Plenty small bites. This road would got a couple bites, so I just want to see something might be taken. So just keeping an eye out on the big rod, getting some tops, small bites. Gotta get a good bite to catch it. Not getting much different distance with the spoon. Might have to go in the water to use this. Height making it kind of come to the surface. Is your line? No. Caught somebody else's line. Just pulling up somebody else's line here, I don't know. Oh. So somebody's lying here and it has a fish on it. What the hell is this? <laughs> fish is still alive. That is somebody's line. That I just pulled up with a fish on it. Like the line burst and this fish was hooked on. It's still alive. The good thing is about this, we got two nice small hooks. Which I could put on my wife's line. So she'll catch big fish. I'm gonna throw back this guy. A nice little Zell one. Hopefully he still has enough life to kick off. Oh yeah, he's good to go man. Look, Save the wife is feeding the fish. Alright, so I'm gonna change them two hooks with the two hooks we just found. So this is some random person's line. Apparently it got stuck and they cut it off. So I have two small hooks on it, so I'm just gonna take the small hooks and put it on my wife's line so she'll have a better chance to catch the fish. This is one hook here and oh it has three small hooks. Another hook here and another hook here. So somebody was probably fishing this morning or last night and lost their line. Just gonna wrap this up. I don't want to trade back any water. Alright, that's gonna put on the hooks on my wife and we'll catch you back. Okay, so you put on the small hooks, now I'm sure my wife is gonna get something. Carry it for the bite, strike it, pull it up. I'm gonna check the bait on this line now. Might switch all the hooks to regular hooks. Change the soup looks the regular ones. Like soup. So? Yeah. Strike him. Huh? Once again, by like that, strike him. Another one bite. That's not a bite. Are we going out straight? No, we feel like a bit shaking, criminal kind of thing. That's a bite. Like that? Like that? Yeah. I'm going to strike. 
They're up one time. So we're gonna toss back out the big one. The J hooks now. Some decent distance there. I'll give you a chance and I'll try with this. You try, huh? With our rod. Try with this. So the wife getting too much bite, so she said get, to take a try to see if I catch the fish. So we're just gonna see what's going on. Yeah, some small bites already. Have a fish this time. Feels like a Zell one. Let's see. He's swimming across. What is this? It is a Zell one. Check him out. Pompano or Zell one. If you catch a big, two big ones of these, I'll keep it and carry it home and cook it. This guy is still a little too small. Take a look at him, we call him Zell1 Pompano and well there he goes, but we caught one. So for this throw I'm trying a piece of fish as per the wife's suggestion. Let's see if we can get something. Joshua is pretty fresh so it's still stay on better than the shrimp. Oh, good bite. Uh, Missed it. I got a good bite there. a good bite there so let me check the beat that's a good bite but the bait is still there the Joshua staying on Nice fish, nice fish. On the Joshua. Fish is coming. I can't wait. Fish is swimming. He's coming, he's fighting a bit. Oh, it's a nice size. Oh, nice size fish here, guys. See if I could flip him up on this small rod. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> really nice. Zell one. Only Joshua, like the wife suggested. Whoa. I could potentially keep this one, but my wife is a fish. Show me the video, Snapchat. <laughs> we got that on video. Um, this one is keepable, but I'll wait for one, maybe. I'm going for one twice this size. 
I'll let this guy go as well. So the bait is still there. Trying for the wife now to get fish because that Joshua bait is staying on. But she's busy. Wait for a good bite. Let's try. See ya in action here. I would miss it. And the Joshua staying on good so the bite it hard. Like that? Yeah. Like that one? Let's try. Drop up a little bit. Back to much slack. Yeah, hold right there. Strike! You have him? I don't know. Want your strike? I don't know. Wrap up a little bit. A little bit, a little bit. Hold it right there. Like that? A little bigger than that. Yeah, strike. Wrap, 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 wrap. You feel anything? Wrap and see, wrap and see. You gotta yeah. change your feet. Let's see. Oh, she has her bait. That's about it. Got a bite in that, Joshua, real good. All right, so when it's had to go, do, 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 do. then you strike. If you feel do, do, leave it. When you go, do, 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 strike. Make sure it's tight and wait for the bite. Yeah, that's a big one. Shall strike it one time. Are you guessing all of this? Yeah. Come on, come on. Take your in front here. All right, hold right here. Wait till it pull consistently. And then strike. Like that? Yeah, strike. Right, drop it. Keep going. Missed that one, boy? Yeah. Nah, I'll take it out. Prop up, prop up, prop up. This is again here guys. Right, here we go again guys. Toss it out. Get the rod in front of you. Just like at that angle. Wait for the bites. I got a couple small taps there. We gotta wait for the bigger, bigger tap. That was a decent tap but I kinda rushed it. Oh, it is. I can't believe I missed that one. That was a real good bite. What the hell? No, the fish is there. The fish is there. He just was swimming with the current. Oh, another small pumper now. He bit this thing like a shark. Oh. Take your time there, buddy. There he goes. <laughs> Alright guys, for this one, I'm going to definitely let the wife catch a fish now. Just going to throw it out for her. Wrap it and hold it. Hold it in front so at the angle. Right. And you see it pull hard, you pull back. And you start to wrap. Wrap up a little bit. Right, hold it right there. Like that? Yeah. Pull it back in front of you, don't hold it so far behind. Once you hold it far behind, you get slack and get away. Keep right, going. so, yeah. So, yeah, let's try it. Get down here to bring Maggie Rod to the front. Let's try it. Oh, that was a big one. Oh, there you go. Miss. I keep doing the same thing. That was a big one. Oh, it's still there. Wrap it, wrap it, wrap it. You have it? Let's see if she has the fish. No, I think it's gone now. Oh man, that was a good bite. Took both of the baits. Definitely a good bite. We'll try back. You want to put it again? Um, wrap it up a little bit. Don't worry about the bee. Wrap up the slap, wrap up the slap. Why not? I have to one slap. Alright, hold it in. That's a big wave. Huh? Up up. Strike, strike, strike! Right, you have him this time. Pull back the rod in front of you, I can't hold it behind you. Yeah. I'm sure you have it this time, you feel something? 
maybe she has a fish this time guys i see something swimming out there it looks like a zell one is it yes it is so she catches her first one decent sized one all this check him out another maracas zell one caught by the way hey sean guys i'm gonna trim back The kind of fish we caught, I think one is a pompano, one is a zel one, one is the longer fins. Um, we'll, keep, we'll keep a look at that as we go on. I think it's a different guy, so say bye, guy. Okay. That's fish number four. Same thing, wrap it till it's tight in front of you. In front of you. Wrap up, put it in front of you. So, so, yeah. Wrap up, over. Right. Right. And you strike, strike right there. Go back to the front. Fish on. Is it two in a row? Or did you miss it? Not seen anything swimming. Maybe a small one. Yeah, it's swimming. It's swimming. It's a small one. Another one. So she's two for two now since she caught that one. Confidence is up. Look at that smile on that face. So happy. Huh? You just killed it. No, I saved him from hitting his head, so I kicked him straight in the water. He didn't hit into the ground. What do you say? Huh? Right to roll? It's definitely working better than it should be. As just we bait the Joshua, sticking it about three times, piece of filet. Spray back out for again. Same thing. If we catch another fish besides that, I'll use it for bait, but we can't. Hey, that was a nice one. Do we have him? Yes, she has him. He's pulling. He's pulling. Seems like the nicest one she's caught so far. Keep it tight, keep it tight. Keep it tight and you'll do it right. He's out there. Okay, I can do it <laughs> She's struggling. <laughs> she is struggling here, guys. She doesn't want to get off her seat, but she might have to because we're going in front of the jetty. What is it? It's, it's a big... Oh, it's a jack. It's a jack craval. That's why it pulls so hard. These guys are very strong. So the first species for the first time. Different species for the first time, a Jack Craval, Cavalli, small one, I you're looking for one five picture. times. Hold it right there, hold it right, hold it right there. Can I hold it like this? Yeah, I better yes. <laughs> All right, we'll try Mac, Cavalli, Jack Craval. You get out of the camera? Yeah, bringing all the semi-secret bait here, Squidward. This is supposed to stay on the hook pretty good. I got this in, cut it in rings just like this. And butter fried. I'm gonna figure out how to fry it on low high heat. So just cutting it up into sections. It's pretty tough. Thanks for this. Uh, so I'm gonna put this on a hook for her. This is supposed to stay on till I catch a big one. So we have a kebab again, squid tipped with shrimp. Be happy to get that in any restaurant. Let's see if the fish wants it. Yeah, gain a bite.
Oh, got a good bite and I missed it. I was sleeping there. Not a decent bite. Him this time or oh, do I yes I do it's not that big but they bite like sharks small guy again so this fish is number about ten On the bottom hook, I have squid, Peter Joshua, and piece of shrimp. That's a real good bar. Let's see if it works. The central. Small bites. Consistent. fish here. Feels like a decent one. Oh, it's actually a pretty small one. Probably the smallest of the day. And he took the kebab. <laughs> he took the shrimp, Joshua, and squid kebab. Oh, he fell off. It was a small jack. So we still have this squid and piece of Joshua here. So I'm going to put on another piece of shrimp. Keep our vibe hook in there again on the bottom hook. What you want it? Oh. Biggest fish, biggest bite so far. Might be the biggest fish, but you bit the hardest. What you want you come to? Why did you have to bite so hard and bite so hard? Or yeah, some boy. kind of big fish, a little small fish. So this one took the kebab again. My bag front pocket. Catch anything? Yeah, that's Can you see? What bait are you using? Huh? What are you using? A spoon. A spoon? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, plenty small fish, man. Shrimp and squid. All right, guys. So this is gonna be my last cast for the day. Just to run it back over. Easy fishing. Anybody could do it. You could bring the kids. A sinker, about a two ounce. Maybe a pyramid sinker would work better than a circle sinker. Two small hooks. My hooks were too big. Luckily, we caught these two. I think this should be about a number. Maybe number 16 or number 14 should be okay. J hooks. And the best bait for us today was the Joshua, fresh Joshua. The shrimp got a lot of bites when it came out easily and the squid got some bites initially but then when, once he freshes more off, nothing else. So like I said, small sinker to the bottom, two hooks to the top. And it is casting just beyond where the waves are breaking. This is going to be the last cast. Let's see if I can pull up something with it. If not, 
Might as well, this guy, thanks for watching. Fish on. I missed the fish on the last cast guys that really sucks I'll just try it back one more time because the bait still there that was a nice bite to catch on the last cast Where he get off of? Okay guys, we'll do one more. You know the fisherman's every last cast is two or three, but this definitely has to be it because my wife is hungry. When she's hungry she gets angry. A lot of small bites again. Get that one piece on by There it is, there it is. I should have the fish on this time. For the last throw of the day and there it is this is the original long fin Zelwano Pompano easy rig guy sinker to the bottom two small hooks get yourself some fresh Joshua and you'll have a lot of fun this is about number fish number 10 in about an hour hour and a half not serious fishing just fun relaxing fishing so again guys thanks for watching the show. One more thing guys, when you go fishing somewhere, try to leave it as soon as you found it. Throw in all the bait in the water, pick up all your garbage. This is the line that I caught, so just gonna carry it away. Don't leave anything behind, because someone else will want to come and fish in this spot. Leave it better than you found it. Thanks for watching.